I'm Stacey Engelbretts and a prison guard rushed to the hospital after an attack at Wapan Correctional Institution. NBC 26's Raquel Amell is live in the newsroom with the latest developments. Raquel. Well, Stacey, we still don't know the condition of that guard tonight or if they've been released from the hospital. But what we do know is that the Department of Corrections is investigating the incident, sending us a statement Reading in part, quote, DOC has referred the incident to the Dodge County Sheriff's Office. Wapan Correctional Institution is on temporary lockdown while the incident is investigated, end quote. These reoccurring attacks are not going unnoticed. Legislators say they're working to reform laws to protect prison guards. It would be one thing if this were an isolated incident, um, but it really is uh, becoming a pattern uh, of these attacks that um, our correctional officers are subject to. So, you know, what we've been attempting to do is to give them a voice in the workplace, make sure that they're able to bargain collectively. Previously, there have been multiple attacks at the Green Bay Correctional Institution, including stabbings, assault, and a case of an inmate throwing scalding hot water on one of the guards this past July. In October, there was also a guard stabbed at the Oshkosh Correctional Institution. Representative Gengrich says he, along with several other lawmakers, have held meetings with correctional officers in efforts to better target and fix the problem. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, keeping you connected, Raquel Amell, NBC 26. Thanks, Raquel.